Finished. All done and dusted. The feet are gone. And I'm on form. The insides, as you can expect, there's nothing new to report over my previous updates. Just that there's a knocking sound from this area. Something's knocking here when driving. You, you know, you, I, I thought it's the feeble trim. You know, the construction bit might, I don't know. You can't hear it with the heaters on or the music on. But if you switch everything off and just drive, you can hear the knocking sound from here somewhere. Like this, might be the trim. That's what I suspect. Trim flexing. Cheap trim. So whilst from the outside it looks great, the actual materials Land Rover uses are pretty cheap in a Land Rover Discovery Sport. Oh, so let's start the car and go for a drive. Keep the heating on low, off. Going to drive and off we go. You hear the knocking sound? Flexing. Apart from that sound, it, the car drives well. Just keep it in eco mode. Driving-wise, I love the way it drives, handles, it's very, very responsive. I tried to drive in some ice, but it's not been enough. We were driven at 40 without any problems, no slippage. So the four-wheel drive is fine. See, so the only negative is that sound, which is apparent from when I bought it. Actually, on the test drive, the, the dealer said, the salesman said, oh, if you, that knocking sound is from coming from the... It's coming from the number plate that you pull up in the back. I'm trying to distract me, which obviously you've got so many things to think about. You know, whilst driving. Driving-wise, it drives well. It's great, in fact. I'm I've just been, for the past 200 miles or so, I've just driven in eco mode. And to tell you the truth, I can't tell much difference between eco and standard. I can tell there's no real difference. I've not driven in, well I've driven in sports mode briefly. But only for about 10 miles. Um, does it make any difference? Probably some difference. But I think the difference is a marginal. I'm talking about maybe a 10% difference between standard and eco. And 10% difference between uh, e the start, the eco, uh, about 20% difference between eco and sport. So it's not a huge difference in performance. Noticeable, yeah, but So driving wise, it's a great drive, apart from that noise you can hear. I don't know what it is that's making that noise. Front passenger side. Like I say, if I put the heating on, drowns it out. 
heating on. Still hear it, but it's not apparent. Obviously, if you put the music on, you can't hear it at all. Driving wise, it's great. Can't fault it in a response. Uh, Maneuverability or anything like that. And I like the way the trims, inside trims, enabled me to, you know, put the wiring in for the dash cam front and rear, hidden away. And I thought I'd have to use those sticky bits of sticky everywhere, little spots, cable ties, and whatever. So it's great for long journeys or short. It's a smooth drive. Handling is good. Park up and check the 